Welcome folks on our lesson 7. This is a continuation of uniform circular motion. Okay. So, I want to explain about maximum and minimum speed. Maximum and minimum speed in two situations. When you are trying to rotate a body in a vertical circle. What speed is required in order for the body to pass the highest point. Then I will also talk of speed required to negotiate a corner. Okay? So the first thing we do is rotating a body in a vertical circle. If I'm rotating a body in a vertical circle, there must be a speed which will allow the body to go over the top that is what I'm doing otherwise you can try to rotate and if there is no tension here you see it cannot pass it can't so there must be some tension in the string so to pass the top point to pass the top point there must be a minimum speed at least we talk of at least in mathematics okay the minimum meaning that below that speed then the body cannot pass the top point so i want you to understand key things the body can only pass the top point if there is tension in the string if there is tension in the string that is the starting point so we are talking of minimum speed minimum speed tells us if your speed is below then the body cannot pass so there are key issues we are addressing here the speed of that body has to be at a given level and above but not below a given quantity so below that speed the body cannot pass what is another interpretation there is no tension in the string and when we say there is no tension in the string in mathematics we quantify yeah? we say it is zero when we say no tension we write t is equal to zero okay now from centripetal force at the top you know at the top do you remember our lesson uh, five or six our lesson five or six we analyzed that at the top the weight is down also the tension is down and the two constitute centripetal force so at the top centripetal force is made up of tension and weight but we are saying suppose tension is zero suppose the body is not able to pass through the topmost point if we put t is zero then our centripetal force is equal to mg you can divide both sides by m then you have v squared over r is equal to g meaning that v squared is equal to rg and therefore the minimum speed we are talking about is square root of radius of that circle times gravity now gravity is in si so your radius has to be in si units it is very simple if you go through it again okay you start analyzing what you know 
you can even take a stone and tie it and try to rotate. It can only be in a circular motion so long as there is tension in the string. If there is no tension in the string, quantify, put t is equal to zero. Then put that zero in the formula. Fc is equal to zero plus mg. Therefore, mv squared over r is equal to mg. That is what helps us to know that there is minimum speed. Minimum speed is component of tension in the string which provides centipetal force for a body to pass. So we write that V as minimum. Now I want you to focus your attention on the road, banked road. A road that has been raised at some point. This is because it facilitates the centripetal force. The banking enhances centripetal force. So again, we reason in the same way that a car is moving round is moving round a banked road. A car moving round a banked road. It is negotiating a corner. Okay? So the tires have to be in contact with the road. Start that understanding. The Tires have to be in contact with the road. Okay? If the tires are in contact with the road, we can now put forces on this car. There is MG. Okay? In this car, there is MG. Weight. Weight make us to have reaction force make us to have reaction force so mg and reaction force are collinear they are forces which we can add or subtract that is the meaning in physics we can either add or subtract them but forces that are at an angle you cannot add or subtract at this level, the, the previous 844, the beginners of 844 could do it. But for us, something was removed in the syllabus. So we can only add forces that are collinear. In this case, the, the centripetal force is towards the center. Centripetal force is towards the center. Which force is towards the center from this diagram? It is mg because r is away from the center. So if mg is towards the center and r reaction force is away, we can address them as collinear in perspective of physics. Okay? Now, mg towards the center. If you subtract, you take away the opposite force, which is reaction. That is what will provide the centripetal force. So from mg minus r is equal to centripetal force. If r is zero, if r is zero, then mg is equal to mv squared over r. I've just put zero here. Divide both sides by M, you get V squared is equal to Rg. Therefore, V is equal to square root of Rg. But this V, we call it maximum. Because the limiting situation in this case, what is the meaning of limiting? Beyond the tire making contact with the road is what we call skidding. Skidding. Okay? 
there is no grip on the road there is no grip on the road so it is the beginning of skidding the beginning of skidding is when the tire does not hold firmly on the road that is the interpretation interpretation of r is equal to zero so the velocity if you are asked maximum and minimum velocity they boil to square root of rg when you get square root of r times g you can address either maximum or minimum velocity why do we say maximum beyond that maximum velocity the vehicle will just skid why does it skid there is no grip on the road why is there no grip on the road because your speed is too much another thing we saw was if your tires are not in good shape they can also cause skidding so i want you to reason i want you to understand it don't cram this this is very simple try to reason the way i am driving the point both in rotation and in a movement of a car round the bend keep on subscribing you will get more bye bye